Well, it was a match uh, which occurred at the Mid-South Coliseum last week, uh, which you saw the, it's called the Coward's Way Out match. And in this one, there was no referee. It just continued until somebody left the wrestling area. Yeah. It was the King going against the Dream Machine. Take a look. Some of the highlights. <laughs> both took a beating as you could see in that match right there but Lawler the one with the hands raised as the dream machine ran out of there now immediately after the match well I hear the king coming this way let me let him get over here and, uh, and, and let him take a look at this next videotape that we have too there's the crowd saying hello to the king the man who just won the match that we just showed you on that videotape King, I'm glad you're here. I was just about to uh, show everyone the videotape because after that match, the cameras went back to the dressing room of the Dream Machine. Naturally, he was most upset. If you if you don't mind, let's well, take. Well, let me let yeah. me just say this. He's not the only one that was upset, Dave. That was a as as I think everybody saw. Of course, they condensed down into a couple of minutes, about a 17 to 20 minute match there, and it was a brutal match, and there were a lot of fists flying, and you know they always say. You can win, I think this has been the case a few times with me and Dream Machine, winning the battle but losing the war. But this past week, I felt like if you look at his face, if anybody looks at his face after that video, that I won the battle and the war. So Dream Machine, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what you've got to say. But I ain't through with you yet, so let's, let's, let's hear what he's going to run his mouth about. All right, let's hear the uh, interview from Dream Machine from the dressing room. Lawler, I did just exactly what I said I was going to do. I stood with you toe to toe, and I whipped you from one of that ring to the other. You pulled your strap. I pulled my strap. The people saw it. You wanted a coward's way out match, huh? Well, you was the coward, huh? You couldn't take any more, could you? You couldn't take any more, but I could. Look at my face. Who reached down and pulled out the fire? And huh? And I blocked it. You know, you didn't burn me. You burned me a little bit, but not good enough. You sorry son of a... I'm going to whoop you from one end of Memphis to the other because it's not over, Lawler. It'll never be over between me because I hate your stinking guts. And the people know I stood with you toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Lawler. And most of all, down deep inside... 
You know it too, don't you? You know it, don't you, Lawler? You know it. I know you know it. I'm not through with you, baby. It'll never be over between me and you, Lawler. You sorry son of a... That's enough, yeah. Dream Machine? You can stand there with that camera in your face and you can spout off all the obscenities and you can call me anything you want to. But what you need to get in your face is a mirror. You need to look in a mirror and you need to see what you look like after that match, Dream Machine. You need to look at that eye swollen shut. You need to look at that blood running down out of your head. You need to look at that nose mashed all over your face. And then you need to say to yourself, well, maybe it's time for this to be over. Because if you don't end it, Dream Machine, I certainly will. Now this week, this week we got a little match that could bring all this to a head. Because you see, we've had matches in the past where it evolved into nothing but a slugfest. Well, this week it's gonna start as a slugfest because it's a tape fist match, Dream Machine. You know when you get in a boxing match, what those boxers do before they put those gloves on is they sit down and they tape their fists as tight as they can. They put layers and layers of tape over their fists to make them hard as rocks. And then they put those gloves on and they're ready to go to war. Well, Dream Machine, we're gonna tape our fists up, but we're not gonna bother with the gloves. We're gonna go in the ring and we're gonna start throwing punches with the tape fist. And I can promise you this, that Monday night, if you think your face looked bad after last week, Monday night, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. If you got a mother, Dream Machine, she won't recognize you when I get through with you. And this one has the makings of a wild Monday night coming up at the Mid-South Coliseum. We're going to take a look at the entire card coming up. You saw the interview from the Dream Machine. I apologize for some of that. We edited it out the best we could.